Okay. So about uh oh a couple weeks ago I went to the thrift shop and I picked up ten of these. They seem to be two fifty or so meg quantum pro drives. Uh they're IDE. And as you can see here I have it plugged into my dual optron box, which is still needing to be required and uh the operating system either reinstalled or uh, repaired because there's something stupid that I did. So, what I have here is I have this one hooked up as the master on IDE channel 1. I have all the SATA drives unplugged and I have a keyboard on. What I really should do is I should get this hook up for a mouse. We're going to see what happens. I want to see if this boots up like MS DOS or something. That'd be pretty cool. It's small enough that uh, it'd be able to work as a, I guess, Windows 3.1 or Windows 95 or something like that. But I really don't know. So let's give it a little bit up there. Oh, noisy buggers. Buggers, oh god. I've been watching way too many people on YouTube from other countries. Alright. It looks like it's a 270 meg quantum drive. These things never die. You turn these on immediately, the, uh, the bearing goes really loud, and then you have to wait a little bit for the bearing to, uh, Get some uh, grease back into it. There we go, we're booting. You can see right there, 271 megabytes on like 12 gigs of RAM. Let's see what happens. Holy shit. Windows NT Workstation 4 and PC DOS. Okay. We're probably get a blue screen. This wasn't the original stuff, so I did. I expected the blue screen. Service Pack Three. Someone hasn't been doing their Windows updates. <laughs> it sees all three gigs of memory that it's able to. No way. No way, where the frig is my mouse? No way. No way. <gasps> oh my god. Look at that. And with Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay, let's follow through and do the three hand finger salute. Do not attempt to log on unless you are an authorized user. Belong to someone, Harkin H. Yeah, well. Password domain VOCPP. Okay, well, since they can't do anything with that, I didn't expect it. Interesting. It is now safe to turn off your computer. I had a laptop with the MP4 on it once. I installed it myself and all that stuff. Uh, it was a ThinkPad 380XT. I still have it, uh, but I also have a newer one of it that I got for five bucks at the same thrift shop way back. So, makes me want to go ahead and 
before you install that. And there we go. Wow.